and welcome to the another season of the Beyond the Score podcast. Uh, we bring you the first episode of 2022 to this season straight from our studios. Uh, in this podcast, we bring you the views and the opinion of those in the news brought to you by Khel Now. I am your host Ashish Negi. Uh, today we have with us very special guest. Uh, considering what's going on in Indian football, I think it's it's important that we you know we hear the views and opinions of Mr. Sajid Parvakaran, who is currently uh, president of Football Delhi, uh, also known as Delhi Football Association. Uh, Saji has worked in various roles in Indian football, starting with you know uh, All India Football Federation, working with national team, and he also went till FIFA as a, a Central and South Asia Regional Officer. He has worked in various other projects in Indian football, and currently he is the president of Football uh, Football Delhi. And also considering now, I think many people feel that he should be the front runner for the. next aff uh, president election we will take all his views and you know about the same what's going on will he going to stand for that i think i'm not sure he's going to tell us today but i think he is definitely one of the fan favorites considering the kind of cv and portfolio he has in his in his bag uh, you know working with national team fifa now state federation so he knows each and every uh, you know level of development in football is required from grassroots to the top at the at the fifa level Sadi welcome to the show and uh, welcome to the studio also thank, thank you for you. coming in no no my pleasure ashish is always you know happy to be here and uh, you know all the best now let's come to the the trending and the hot topic straight away the all india football federation and all everything is going there every day we're hearing something uh, why we are here uh, can, can you sum up what are the reason aff is right now here because we've seen aff from fifa point of view you have been at iff then of course you have been at the state football association so you have seen every branches of iff why we are at here in 2022 what could have done as a uh, iff would have done better not to be in the situation which are there right now yeah you know uh, it's uh, i can say you know maybe i would need 30 minutes to sum up but then uh, you know uh, but uh, what i can say is that Uh, we it's our our own creation it's uh like when i started working with aff uh, 2004 when i left uh, i never thought that we will get somewhere to this situation and when i was working with fifa closely uh, with aff on every aspect i thought you know, we will be in a much better and a bigger level and we will never hit a crisis but all started changing uh, since uh, the world cup under 17 now uh, as we finished the world cup under 17 uh, that was a turning point i think uh, we lost track uh, and that is where you know things started going from bad to worse and this there were many uh, what is say like red lights but then everybody you know jumped the red lights and uh, were very less green lights and uh, we as stakeholders because as i got elected 2017 november and uh, very fast i could know things are not at right place at right direction what i left you know say in 2016 and or 2017 early and things started changing and the culture it is all about culture the the culture what the institution portrayed it was not about football which is the worst part because your core business of the organization is what promote football protect football and uh develop football yeah and when you miss this core aspect and your focus is you know where something else you get into this crisis and which was unavoidable because uh, people those who were there uh i never expected that you know they will you know do things which would bring bad name to football and unfortunately every day we are keep hearing now you know things which are like coming out uh, it's really hurts because uh, we you know like 
like me there are millions yeah who have invested their life into football and uh, specifically to indian football and we still believe that we can really reach somewhere and we can reach to our golden uh, period uh, of 50s and 60s and, uh, and that is the belief with uh, that we all you know put our energy focus time resources into it but then the governance part is is the very fulcrum of any organization when the governance you take it lightly you know you make individual more bigger than the institution and that is where we lost the focus and that is where you know that ultimately supreme court intervened and you know there was a threat of fifa ban but then we all have overcome that ban they have now given us a deadline of 31st july uh, and then the new executive committee to be elected by 15 september so that uh, the world cup women's under 17 which is scheduled from 11th october 2022 takes place it will not happen with the uh, under the coc watch right they have made sure that it need to be under and held be under the aff not under the committee appointed by supreme court exactly see they have given the timeline the deadline uh, saying the newly elected executive committee should be in place by 15 september and that is very clear and and see in fifa's definition uh, you know it, it was an interference yeah uh, the external interference and that way but they they have given uh you know this leeway to is india is indian india given extra leeway here no, because just why, because we are india no, we have to thank you know the member associations for that the state association if state associations wanted you know they would have banned us we we said you know this situation we reached uh you know there was no other alternative so therefore we want to work closely with coa because Uh, we we want to uh, follow the judgment of the supreme court we respect the judgment of the supreme court and we coa are you know doing good work they are closely working with us therefore we don't want uh, you know any ban and the if all the state associations are with one voice we have communicated this with fifa and that is how you know i can say we have prevented the ban because aff is what aff is we state associations we member associations and we are satisfied with whatever happened you know by with the supreme court because that is what we wanted that the when the term was over you know because the election should have happened or uh, the supreme court you know if the supreme court has you know given certain judgment in 2017 so therefore the status from 2017 till is the same you know the interference came has people there. used indian judiciary system for their own benefit here see it's not we cannot uh, you know question the judiciary system no but so they people, have the leverage is because we understand our judiciary system is not perfect is a made in a way that you know people in past also the, the people with influence have used in a way has the same thing happened with the aff also because supreme court gave the decision in 2017 you know it's 4 years 5 years now we are 2022 and we are still on the same level at the same way we are we are still the same position nothing has changed yeah see what i can say from whatever the uh, the things of uh, all last few years uh, we member association should have been more proactive uh we were proactive but then uh you know like uh, the priorities from the aff uh, was that okay you know we are dealing with the supreme court and the you know, the situation is still there but then you no know, at the end what i can say you know we can go back you know review or you know, criticize but what we as state associations we want is that we want to move forward we don't want to get into this situation any in next 100 years because it has badly hurt the image of the game 
Uh, the fans are unhappy. Everybody is unhappy. You know, everybody is criticizing, and they are right to be. They are right in their place because we have let us ourselves down, and we have not prioritized football. We have. We should have. We should always prioritize football, and that is what we are there. You know, these positions of power and the seats you know, should not be seen as something uh, like. No, nobody can do so uh, to us. But that feeling or that thought itself is wrong. And and uh, now the situation is we the FIFA, AFC, um, the Ministry of Sports all want you know this situation to be improved and get an elected body in place and all are working towards that. And that is where our focus is right now. uh so so let me ask one question one more question about the same uh, because i think this will take indian football back couple of year back in terms of development because they have the they have the stuff their projects have been stopped now because of because we're all waiting for this thing to get over uh, uh of course we have seen various president in past uh, you know is it fine it, it is justified to blame for all, to to praise for all the success or to blame for all the failure to just for association president or general secretary or all the employees uh, i have been uh, or talking to somebody you know and i've been there there at how many people are there at aff you must be aware how many people are there 75 plus 75 more, more 150 you know employed part time full time 150 people everybody will have some kind of role right uh, and everybody will be responsible for you know some kind of activities are those people we are we are changing the president uh, hopefully general secretary will get changed executive committee will change but these are all honorary position right they are not paid uh, any salaries from the uh, what about the these 150 to 170 people uh, how they can be held accountable for the work they have done in last 10 years because there are many people there for who have been there for years now see i in my conversation last conversation with mr patel i did tell him that you have certain liabilities in the federation and those were the people yeah and and that also uh, has led to this position yeah this situation or as well and uh, you know, we need to evaluate each position what is they have done but if you ask me personally you know if i have or you know if i have to do a certain suggestion it needs a complete sweep yeah because the culture uh, what it i need a reset basically yeah reset and we need to bring in the right competent people there and if they are uh, if they are somebody good they should be retained if they are not done to the justice to their position no uh, there is no way they should be there because at the end you know we are not in a you know something uh, in a charitable business yeah because football needs to move forward and each of those employees who have got certain responsibilities must deliver and if they have not de- delivered you know 100% they should not be there because not you should not consider 90% as good no because if you are asking a player to perform they can they don't get the next match so why an employee should be there who Who because there's no accountability, right? Yes. Because they are here for years now. Because it's more like a government job. It seems yeah, like that, a government job that, to me. That mindset need to go. Because see, in football, you need to work 24 into 7. See, and that mindset who are coming 9 to 5 job, they should get some other job. No, there are enough jobs available. We need football people who really, you know, eat, drink, sleep football. and they want to do something at the end they are not there to you know say oh i am doing a job so that kind of culture need to come in and that you know one can hope you know whoever is going to be there they really look things in a way where the right kind of people are there only who really adds value at the end otherwise who will comes under the question is only the leadership 
Yeah, that's and the leadership point. is not, you know, he, leadership he, is not doing day-to-day -day work. Yes. You know, leadership is not day-to-day uh, -day working to arrange friendlies for the youth team or the international team. Leadership is not there to day-to-day -to -day arranging the telecast or manage because that's the one of the major question in Indian football. Kya match TV pe aayega bhai? Kya match stream hoga, nahi hoga? Every match, the same question is always, always is going to be there. So I think that's not something his president oh. is going to do. That's something the people are there designated for this role and this job. They are they're paid. See, like when you and are they are paid taxpayer money by the way. It's not the they're, they're, you know uh, uh, it's a private body. It's a, it's a kind of it comes under the you know Indian government code of uh, sports code ke andar aata hai. So aisa nahi hai ki ki iski liabilities nahi hai, ki liabilities hai. Inko badal jawab dena chahiye. But abhi tak kuch jawab nahi mila and hopefully aage dekhte kya hona because. Main ek is opinion saath aata hoon, main, I'm not going to pass the blame, you know, the president is bad, general secretary is bad. That's fine. They are there. They are the leadership position. A company, of course, CEO is responsible for the, you know, uh, the, the way company is going forward. But their department are inside the company, so the national Little team department, made. women's team department, kya kar hai, uh, the, uh, the uh, league department, kya kar hai, you know, uh, and I have to, should not say, but uh, there are people who have been promoted, irrespective of their performance. You know, and if you see all their performance on paper, it's it's has gone down. No, I will say one thing. What happens is that, look, any organization, the uh, system, structure, processes, and everyone's accountability is defined. So, what happens is that when the leadership positions, the main responsibility is that they define it and evaluate it at the right time. And when the structure is not there, then such things come. So, the इसमें रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सभी की है है ना और आ, सही टाइम पे सही क्वेश्चंस पूछे नहीं गए कि आप इसको हायर कर रहे हो तो क्यों हायर कर रहे हो हायर कर लिया तो ये करेंगे क्या अगर कर लिया तो कैसे किया कि क्या सही काम किया क्या उनका क्यारे था क्या उनकी जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन में क्या था क्या अचीव करना था है ना वॉट इज दैट यू हैव हायर्ड फॉर यू नो इट इज नॉट ए डेकोरेटेड पोजिशन यू नीड टू डिलीवर You you are not there as a you know a five star general, huh? Ki you will bossing around, uh, traveling here and there. But you know you have to achieve, and wo accountability structure हमारे system में नहीं है. और वो आया क्यों नहीं? ये leadership की responsibility थी. तो अगर वो इसीलिए वो culture वहाँ पे बन गया. तो वो and वो culture फिर top से बन गया. तो जो काम करने वाला भी है, वो भी, वो भी बिल्कुल लेथार्जिक फील करता हो, है हो गया होगा नहीं नहीं वो तो क्योंकि देखो ये सिस्टम और कल्चर बहुत जरूरी है कि आप क्या कल्चर पैदा कर रहे हो क्या कि आप बस नौ बजे आना और पांच बजे चले जाना है भी द्वारका में थोड़ा जल्दी निकलना पड़ता है ट्रैफिक ज्यादा होता है <laughs> तो वो देखिए फुटबॉल डिमांड्स लाइक यू नो आई मैं इतने सालों में मुझे आज तक नहीं लगा कि मैं नौकरी कर रहा हूँ या जॉब कर रहा हूँ या कुछ ऐसा कर रहा हूँ आई एम अवेलेबल नो 24 फोर इंटू सेवन फॉर एनी थिंग एनी वन बट आई नेवर फेल्ट कि यार रात को 12 बजे कोई कॉल कर रहा है जरूरी है तो मैं गुस्सा हो रहा हूँ किसी से नहीं क्योंकि यू नो दैट इज द रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी यू हैव टू टेक लाइक अभी मुझे पता चला कुछ कुछ ही हफ्ते पहले कि एक टीम गई एयरपोर्ट और उनका वीजा था एक डेट का टिकट था एक डेट का और और वो वो किसी को कांटेक्ट ही नहीं कर पा रहे थे क्योंकि एयरपोर्ट में फंसे हैं कोई फोन नहीं उठा रहा तो आप जवाबदारी कहाँ हुई कि आपको ये ही नहीं पता और ये पैसा सब दिया है गवर्नमेंट ने उनके एक्सपोजर टूल उनका वीजा फी भी दिया है उनके यू नो टिकट्स के पैसे भी दिए हैं ऐसा नहीं है कि फंड नहीं है बिकॉज मेजर मेजर जो क्राइटेरिया बोला जाता है मतलब आगे के अंदर पैसा नहीं है बट बुक्स देखनी चाहिए बुक्स अवेलेबल है या फिर की वेबसाइट्स पे फाइनेंशियल डॉक्यूमेंट मैं देखता रहता हूँ जितना पैसा इस टाइम पे एज एज आ नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स एसोसिएशन ए के पास एज अ स्पॉन्सरशिप आता है साई से आता है फीफा से आता है आई एम नॉट श्योर किसी स्पोर्ट्स एसोसिएशन का इतना पैसा है इंडिया में क्रिकेट के अलावा कैन यू कैन यू टेल मी बिकॉज जो टोटल ईयरली पैसा ये जनरेट करते हैं फ्रॉम द डील विद रिलायंस From Sai, from FIFA grants, from EFC grants, do you think any sports federation of India have this amount of money with them? See, so we can't take an excuse that there is no money to work. See, yeah, like whether you get five crore, whether you get fifty crore, whether you get five hundred crore, the thing is that you have to be accountable for 
ईच पैसा एंड यू हैव ए रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दैट कि ये नहीं कि रिलायंस आपको 50 करोड़ दे रहा है यू नो तो दैट यू आर जस्ट थिंकिंग हाउ टू स्पेंड बट यू हैव टू थिंक हाउ दिस 50 करोड़ कैन क्रिएट अ वैल्यू फॉर 500 करोड़ नॉट ओनली फॉर फुटबॉल बट फॉर योर पार्टनर ऑल्सो सी एट द एंड सी अ पार्टनर हु इज इन्वेस्टिंग यू नो देर आर टेन डिफरेंट सिमिलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मस्ट बी लुकिंग फॉर कि अदर दिस इन्वेस्टमेंट ऑफ फिफ्टी करोड़ वॉट दे डोइंग विद एफ एफ इज टेकिंग दैट वैल्यू टू अ फाइव थाउजेंड करोड़ और नॉट सो दैट यू नो वी कैन कम एंड इन्वेस्ट मे बी फाइव हंड्रेड करोड़ हियर बिकॉज दैट्स दैट कैन गो टू फिफ्टी थाउजेंड करोड़ वैल्यू सी वॉट हैपन इज दैट यू नो दे गॉट इजी मनी कमिंग थ्रू द पार्टनरशिप बट दे नेवर वैल्यूड दैट मनी नीड टू बी स्पेंड राइट then that value of that money need to be double triple made it to 10 times and that way you create value for your position yeah so this is the culture uh, which i don't know from where it has come so we become a, like a charitable in every way yeah so of course the president we have seen the two president in past uh, in recent 20 years 25 years um i will ask you who who can be the what qualities you see as a ideal president of all india football federation but my question is first the time has come to be a football guy or a football person to be the president of the association and what should be the qualities of those the, that person see time was always there you know before only that a football person or who really wants to you know put uh, his or her 24 into 7 time into football see you cannot have a part time people anymore see like what if if you see the japan they have a full time president if you go to saudi now they have a full time president there are many countries where full time but it's not about full time or a part time but whoever is there who are there for you know 24 into 7 available who is thinking football 24 into 7 Yeah, it cannot happen that you just park a bus. You want to go to uh, you know uh, say a World Cup, and uh, you have parked your bus, and then after four years you again start driving, and then you know someday I will reach. It cannot happen. So say you need a working president, you need a active president, you need a thinking president, you need a strategic president who who is putting the vision. Whose profession is just football? Yeah. means who has a complete understanding who can give time who can add value who can really drive the change and who can take everyone together and who who can really go to the games who can really go to the ground who can really know the last person in the village who is a running a club like if somebody from the village wants to connect to a president or want to come to aff that accessibility should be there just Not, like that day when you called a president to ask for the job i think that should be more for the players and the for the unit, just like girls who are standing at the airport they should be have access to the president to ask you know sir hum yahan hai hum kya kare ab you know and if they i am sure the raat ko flight pakad rahe hain mujhe pata hai ki jinko unhone call kiya unka call uthaya bhi nahi gaya hoga because that's what i'm told so wo wo cheez honi chahiye um uh, नहीं देखिए अभी हमें क्या जरूरत है देखो फुटबॉल एक क्राइसिस में फुटबॉल एक स्ट्रगलिंग स्पोर्ट है और फुटबॉल का जो वैल्यू चेन है वो पूरा खराब हो चुका है तो इस जो भी आए उनको क्या है रात दिन काम करना पड़ेगा ये नहीं कि आपने अपनी कुर्सी ले ली और आप कुछ कर रहे हो हाँ फिर आप साल में एक बार या महीने में एक बार आते हो उसके बाद आप मीटिंग कर रहे हो नहीं आपको हैंड्स ऑन प्रेजिडेंट चाहिए who really you know drives who really matlab danda maar raha hai danda maro ha aur kaam karao kaam karo and encourage others bring people in you know because there are sea of people waiting to be part of football they all should be encouraged they should not be discouraged they need to see that if we are going to be part of football you know we will be valued and we will have the opportunity to do things also see like the clubs ultimately you know the clubs those who are investing high value because it is the clubs it is not you know whoever get elected they invest their money you know these are the clubs who invest you know hard earned money you know they are losing money but 
what we need to make sure that we need thousands of like them in india like we need thousand clubs in india across those but at the end they should get value they should not think oh we are struggling you know we have no way no place to even uh, put our grievances and uh, you know and there is all bad press so you know it's a challenge it's a challenge see if the 10 years back somebody has a x challenge it is a 3x challenge now the world is changing yeah world is changing and we also have bought the game so much uh, to a level where you know you need to work you know 10 times more and than any other let me let me give one example the how far we are behind now so 2010 uh, india played vietnam in a friendly game in pune if you remember india defeated vietnam 3-0 in that game uh the the legendary sunil chetri scored that hat trick i remember and that game was not shown on tv i have seen that game from mobile clips uh fast forward 12 years 12 saal ho gaye hain to 22 hai uh, where is vietnam today and where we are right now that's tell that how far we are behind in terms of the and how slow we are in terms of our preparation in terms of our uh, to take football ahead country with uh, i don't know how small they are in size i don't know how much res- how s- less resource they have compared to us have taken the game so far ahead of india now that they are in kind of tier 1 teams in asia top 10 teams in asia and we can't be called in top 20 teams in asia right now the way it's going in and in, they have not done well at the senior level they have done well at the youth levels also and not by hosting the tournaments playing the, they are just qualifying for these world cups at youth level and i think they have not qualified for this world cup but i think now maybe the, when the edition the world cup get expanded vietnam will be the favorite fifth or sixth team or seventh team from asia to get qualified for the world cup so i think that's tell that how slow we are and how fast is the world so of course uh, that's why I'm, that's what i mean world is changing because world is running fast and we are still in the mood of the marathon world is in the mood of the 100 meter right now so i think that's changed so fast you know that vietnam is one of the example which india can follow no uh, we we have to learn you know from many countries yeah vietnam is just one example like they have invested heavily into youth and they have focused on competitive uh, building their football and that's why we see the level of football have gone up and uh, it's 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 pure passion is hard work and your priorities because they are not resourceful in that way but then see what they have achieved like similarly what i was talking about the tajikistan story you know therefore there are many stories like that where you don't have to say oh let's copy japan or let's copy you know spain you know, not you just go the smaller countries what they are doing and that's You know they are in a much bigger challenging environment than we can, us. We can't just copy anybody. Everybody have to create their own story. Vietnam has created their own story. They have yes. not copied Japan. They have not copied Spain. Yes. Spain created their own story. And India need to create their own story. We can't just go and copy the way other countries. Our challenges or as a country, as a ecosystem, as a, as a culture is totally different as compared to any other country. Uh, so I, I will you know kind of sum up this conversation. You you have, you have touch upon the qualities of the uh, of the president. Now let me put you on the hot seat and ask the straight away big question right now, and I hope I get an honest answer, not just for me, for my audience also, because uh, I consider a large major chunk of Indian football follow, follow and watch us and listen to us. Uh, are you, because as a talk of football guy and uh, as they are very limited in India, who who are eligible for this post? First, tell us that who can be the president right now? Can I go and say I want to be president? Can I nominate? Can I fill the nomination paper? is it possible and can you tell us the uh, who can be the president right now see the only eligible people will be those who are part of the electoral college yeah. so what electoral is the electoral college will be those who are the member associations so general general secretary is the president of the member member yeah, association whoever the the state associations within from within their executive committee can and nominate from the yeah. cut off date yeah and then but again this will decide upon whether the president treasurer or the general secretary or owner secretary or anybody from the executive committee this will have to be stamped by the supreme court so right now what they have proposed the only the president secretary or treasurer can state, state associations can come and get part of the 
electoral college so that's kind of trimmed down the list of the people which fans can accept to see uh, you know and uh, we did one article also top 5 people which we see who can be the possible candidate we we, we thought who have done something in indian football and we thought we might see some of those saji was on the list uh, so let me ask the question straight away uh, are you going to file the nomination for the uh, president election of all india football federation see at things stand today you know there are there is high chance i might be putting my you know, candidature in front are but, you preparing for it uh, i am prepared but it all depends uh, if i find a better candidate then i would like to support that candidate yeah because but i don't know really uh, you know who are the candidates but i am there you know if i see that you know the football will be the same as it is whatever it is mean you know and i don't have the confidence and people won't have the confidence so i think you know being part of the football ecosystem in india you know we we have to take responsibilities as well otherwise there is no way you should be part of football system because you will continue to struggle and you will continue to we will discuss what is bad what is wrong what is not happening we need to move on to a level where we are discussing okay things are moving you know we will achieve this and we are achieving something so that discussion we want to have so if see i can only speak about myself because it all depends uh, whether uh, you know how those voters will react yeah so all this this all you know uh, comes into play but then you know i'll be throwing myself into this uh and i never take you know run away from any challenges and that is what i have done all my life yeah and uh, if i see some you know somebody good who you know, who can do a better job you know than what was happening and can be a guy who will be honest who will put his 100% who will be available 24 into 7 and who will you know bring in something which india really deserves and and see the government is also looking see government wants football to grow yeah and government all uh, see football as a bigger sport you yeah? know like uh, our prime minister uh, talks about this so we will get all of the support in a bigger way from the government and the government can be the biggest investor into football in every level so that is what the situation we need to create and i'm sure you know this is the great opportunity you know somebody who who should come forward with the vision with the strategy with the goals how he will shape or she will shape the next four years and and if they can come up with this blueprint and that is should be the honestly one should approach and discuss and see and that is what i want to see and if i see you know somebody can put that and i see that this guy has a potential you know i'll go all out to support that person but as of today i don't find any i'm not here to judge anybody but not many deserving people are there in the system because that's very important point here that nobody from outside can come and file for fight this election so somebody from the system have to stand Uh, for the right values from the right thing and i think not many names are there and as of now means 28th of june i really hope that you will be there and i just want to sum up the show uh, by again remembering the great novi kapadia uh, i remember at your book launch i i had a very long chat with him and he said one thing to me beta mere life long mein to india kabhi qualify karegi nahi tere life long mein bhi kabhi india qualify world cup pe karegi nahi agar ye host nahi karenge to i think wo हमें मे बी वो नोवी सर के लिए ही उन जो जिन्होंने ये जो ये फुटबॉल वॉरियर्स थे इंडिया में जिन्होंने फुटबॉल को अलाइव रखा फुटबॉल में डिफिकल्ट इयर्स में जब क्रिकेट की आंधी आई इंडिया में उस टाइम पे फुटबॉल को लाइव उनके लिए ही शायद वो जो उनका वो यू नो उनको पता है कि हमारा सिस्टम कैसा है वो सिस्टम चेंज करने की जरूरत है और वो सिस्टम चेंज करने के लिए सही लोगों की आगे आने की बहुत बहुत ज़्यादा जरूरत है प्रोफेशनल पीपल की आगे आने की बहुत जरूरत है एंड uh, मैं एक बार फिर बोलूंगा कि सिर्फ प्रेसिडेंट और जनरल सेक्रेटरी के बदलने से कुछ नहीं होगा दे आर पीपल हु आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल एट द फुटबॉल फेडरेशन 
who should held accountable and hopefully they will be by the next regime and uh, i hope i really hope that uh, saji you file your nomination and you know uh, we'll love to see that who are the people who are coming forward we'll try to reach out to them also we'll hear that with their vision and i think during this journey uh, you have kind of told your vision that what you how you do you see football how do you see the uh, football administrative administrate, administrate administrator job how do you see the football as a national team should go ahead so i think that's given idea about that how you will see if you get a chance to run the all india football federation but i think winning election it's not <laughs> easy joke as as we as we just said on this table it's not that easy uh, because we know that how these elections work and hopefully now with supreme court watch this will be uh, will will properly uh, take place and we will have our new president new executive committee before the fifa deadline because there is no way india can afford a fifa ban at this time of the um, footballing journey we are in we are might be slow then wait ma'am we might be slow than other countries but the potential we have is way way more than what vietnam or these countries have we just need a uh, the train is there i think just need a right engine to pull that train you know ahead and i think that's what the uh, will start from top very top which is all india football federation uh, and this very this episode has been very big now hopefully i think we'll have to sit down and see that how we can put it maybe we'll put it in parts uh, but very very big big thank you to saji for joining here today at uh, kn tv studios uh and hopefully we'll see you again maybe in future uh to our fans don't forget you can listen to all our episode of the beyond the score podcast um, at your leisure on spotify itunes jio saavn gana and all other major platform including amazon music also also you can watch them on the video form on khelnaos youtube channel which is khelnao tv until the next time uh, this is your host ashish negi signing off thank you we'll see you again in the next episode